Hey everybody, welcome back to Rink's Garage. Today we're doing something a little different. As you can see, I got a pile of wood. Got the saws in the shop. So, Dad brought over a little project. It's gonna be a miniature water tower, kind of like the one seen in the old 60s TV show, Petticoat Junction. Sat next to the railroad tracks for filling trains, and I think they went swimming in it or something, but you know somebody who wants one for a garden ornament kind of deal so we're gonna build a small scale one my job is to put together this puzzle that he brought over here so we'll see what happens <laughs> So basically we got a bunch of cedar boards here, a couple pine circles. So we're gonna have a platform. It's gonna be four by four with some runners on the bottom. And then they'll just be X bracing that for the main platform and then the water tower, which will be a three foot cylinder with some skinny boards up and down on it. And then we got some steel banding to put around it to give it that old water tower look. So. It's gonna be probably seven, eight feet high when we get done. First thing we gotta do is build the platform. So let's ground through this stuff. I think we got some wider boards and then some runners we'll have to cut down. So we'll just make a four by four platform, screw the boards on, and then we'll go about throwing some legs on her. Well, we got the platform laid out upside down, of course, but that's basically what it's gonna be. We got six eight inch by 48 inch boards laid out with some 48 inch joists under it so have to flip it all over and mark everything out and get them screwed together but that's going to be our main platform for the water tank to sit on i got a expert sketch here kind of what it's going to look like so we'll get this screwed together and then we'll put the legs on it get some cross bracing in get the platform all done and then we'll start putting the water tank together and that'll just sit up on top and it's going to have a little railing around it i think they're probably going to set it next to the garden maybe put some flowers on the edge of it or something for looks so all right we got the platform all screwed together so that's four by four with five runners under it Next thing we need to do is the four legs. So these will sit this way. I think what I'm gonna do is notch these out. Do a little cut out here so this will slide over here, give it a little more stability and then we can screw through the cedar into the hardwood. These four posts and the two runners are some old telephone wire wood probably some sort of fur it's pretty hard heavy so mark all these four out and cut four notches in and then we can screw them on the platform and get her standing up and then we got some wood back there to do some x bracing for the four legs Got our notches in set her up and see if they slip on there and we'll just put some screws through 
through there onto there and hopefully we can get her up on all fours. Tricky part. I'm just oh, tipping it over. Everything fit, it's nice. So there's our platform. So now, throw a couple screws through the sill into the wood, all four corners. And then we're gonna do some X bracing on all four sides just to stiffen her up before we set her on the runners. So that's what these longer boards will be here, X bracing. So I'll throw some screws in and we'll brace her up. Well, I decided to throw the skids on the bottom. We'll get them screwed on. I'll just throw a couple, two screws in each corner to hold it. And then when we put our X bracing in, we can tie everything together. I think we'll still, when we're all done, we'll make some little steel corner pieces just to hold it together because they'll have to stake this down, keep it from tipping over in the wind. But we'll get the bottom screwed on and then we'll I think we'll have to rip these boards in half possibly. I only got four of them. So we'll probably rip them down. So we got eight, two for each side. Get her stiffened up a bit. And, all right, got some X bracing cut. Basically I just did two 45s up there and one on the bottom. So we'll throw some screws in all four corners and a couple, two or three in the middle. And I got the two cut for the other side for there. And then the front ones will be a little bit different, but basically the same. So I'll get them cut. We'll get all these X bracing on, see how sturdy she is. And then uh, next thing will probably be the handrail. So it's gonna get a handrail on two sides. And then it'll have a little fake ladder here and another one up on top. So. All right, we got all our X bracing on. She's real sturdy now, solid. So next on the agenda is the railing. So we're gonna have two pieces of railing. One will go down this side. I'm just gonna reuse these holes. And then the other one I'll have to drill in. And that one will go on this side. And then the water tank will sit in the other corner, so. First thing, since the holes are already in this one, and I thought I had a reamer, but I don't, so we'll have to use a hole saw. So I drill the hole in this piece of plywood. We'll just clamp that up there, and then we can run the hole saw through it. Might have to go from each side, and then the other one we'll just use a regular wood bit. I'm just drilling each side enough to slide it in there. I'll just drill one side farther so we can slide it in and then shove it back through. So we'll drill some holes.
All right, now we got our holes drilled. We should be able to slide our rails in, hopefully. This one, I don't know. Hopefully I get drilled in far enough. I can sneak it in there. So now we got our little handrail. This will be the front of it, basically. Now, next thing, we'll throw a couple screws. I'm just gonna put a little screw in through this into the dowel from the back side just to hold it from falling out. Get that on, and then the next thing will be our ladder. So there's a little ladder that'll go up to the platform on this side, which I got some chunks here, probably. Start with them and some more dowels and drill some holes in them and make a little ladder. So I'll throw some screws in the railing and then we'll cut them dowels down and see if we can get a ladder bolted on her. All right, we got the railing secured. Next is the ladder. So I got this piece. It's gonna go up there like that. Got my rungs cut and I got her all marked out. So I'm just gonna take my one inch wood bit and just drill in a half inch on each side. And then we can stick our ladder up there and throw a couple of screws. We can screw it to the here and then we'll throw screw in a couple rungs just to keep it from falling apart. Now, it's not gonna be perfectly to scale, but it'll look like a ladder. So we got, I think, seven rungs in this ladder and then there'll be a little short one going up on the water tank so we'll get this slapped together and i think then we'll be on to making the water tank Drilled out for our rungs and down here. And then I went and drilled through on the top one and one in the middle. So we can put a screw in just to hold it together and then it'll get screwed into here and in the bottom. So. Get all these in here. Getting them started all will be the issue I'm sure. sides and hopefully that'll hold her from coming apart. Here, now we got a little ladder like they would have climbed up on to get up on the platform. It's turned out pretty good I think. All right, and we are gonna get, Dad's gonna bring a couple more beams. We're gonna put two crossways on the bottom just to connect the runners and then two underneath just so this doesn't bow down. We'll just run a, one on each side under there, so. But that's pretty much it other than that for the platform. So next we can get started on the water tank. All right, so now we're ready for water barrel. So we got two discs. I think what I'm going to do is 
cut a couple of these. We're going to screw them on here like so, so I can put the other piece on. We want the top to have about 10 inches inside of it, so if they want to set plants inside the top of the water tower, they can. The base will have two discs, and then I got three inch strips. So Dad cut a bunch of these strips. Three inch wide, they got a, like a five degree angle on them, so they'll kind of sit together around the outside of this. And we'll just nail them on top and bottom and then when we get so far on we can unscrew these and we probably even wouldn't have to we could just leave these in there so but i'll get these screwed on and throw the other top on it and then we can start nailing on boards she is and no it didn't come out perfect like that I had to cut one at a wedge I think I'm just going to weld the nut on each end of the strap like that and then when we wrap them we can just put a bolt through each end and snug them up because I couldn't this one kind of bent a little bit when I rolled it around there so if we get a bolt in there we can hit her with the impact tighten her down so she looks nice so I'll weld these nuts on and then we'll wrap them all around there and see what she looks like well, we got the bands on. Dad stopped over and helped me set it up. So, just threw some bolts in her to tighten her down. She is getting close. Coming out pretty good. So, he made a sign that he wants on there. And then we got a little spout, which is... Uh, Eep spout or down spout that's gonna go on the side so that would have been like where the train where it filled the trains with water but of course we'll have to take the tub back down so we can get out the door but it's getting pretty late so beer 30 I'm gonna head her in finish her up tomorrow and then I think dad's gonna come over and oil it down we'll Put it outside on the trailer and oil it and it should look pretty good so get back after tomorrow well it's the next day just ate way too much for easter but besides that this morning i did make up a little ladder for the top so this one will go up on top up to the top of the water tank it'll just hook on the top side of the tank up there so we got that done the spout is ready to go on. One other thing we got to do before she's all finished is oil it up so it keeps the wood looking nice. And I think Dad's going to bring over some oil later. So I got to move her outside, get it on the trailer. We don't want oil all over the floor in here. So we'll get her torn back down and put on the trailer and see how she looks after oil.
Well, it's all oiled up. Final product. Pretty fancy. Yeah, just oiled it with what? Just used canola oil? Canola oil, yeah. Used from the uptown bakery here. Sprayed her on a couple coats and help keep it looking nice. Definitely got shinier. So. On some old wood, which is what some of it might be 100 years. 100 year old. The bottom pieces here is just old telegraph pole wire and then the rest you just cut out of a highline pole, cedar highline pole. Transmission line pole which was put in the ground in 1966 and then they threw them away. So it's all repurposed, everything I think. All used stuff other than the steel bands and the screws. So. But just going down the road to see if somebody wants to put it by their garden. So that's gonna do it for this episode. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.